Welcome to my channel. And today I'd like to show you what I am doing here. If you see on my table, I have applique. I'm trying to adjust my camera now to show you what I am doing and what kind of beautiful thing I'm trying to create. I have a uh, I had a piece of uh, uh, dress and um, it's faded away and uh, the white fabric had aged stains, but I love the print, I love the fabric and I love those roses, unbelievable gorgeous, see how beautiful it is. So I like um, to make something. It was a dress. I already cut the pieces of fabric and work with it and do the restoration, upcycle. I'm showing you here a piece that was a yellow. So I did applique style. And uh, first I did a small zigzag. I took white piece of fabric and I replace it. First, I am sewing the applique on top of the problem. And uh, then I'm finding the way under the garment inside and I'm cutting away those stains. So I am working applique style. Here I'm trying to make a blouse with a quarter of the sleeve. Here you see two sleeves and I cut two roses. Again, the fabric was older, faded away, and I'm trying to um, save those beautiful flowers, roses. And um, I'm trying to work the proper way, the right way in the sewing. So I want to show you here on the table, I'm dropping all of my uh, constructing <laughs> fabrics that I am working on. You see, I'm trying to save a rose. Maybe I'll find the top of it and I'm going to put together applique style or I'm going to save the sleeves. And I'm trying here to save every little bit to uh, put together and making a uh, blouse. So if you see me, this is the sleeve, uh, leaf, so I can uh, cut a leaf as, and uh, I can uh, put them together, nice arrangements, you know, put together. Now here I want you to concentrate what I want to show you. You see the inside and I am working a small um, zigzag and uh, I'm doing applique. Sure, I'm using the pins and everything that needs to be done. Wash fabric before you are uh, using this different fabric. This fabric is new, the white one. And I'm showing you that where is the green color of the uh, fabric or, or the green fab uh, color of the flower. I'm using the green thread. Then I'm retreading the machine and I'm using the pink. Where is the pink? I'm using the pink. So um, if you see the rose, rose has uh, um, two colors, you know, that goes around pink and green. So this is how I use on the applique. The, if you see green color, I use around the green and the pink color I use around the pink and I'm using those cheers, those uh, <laughs> um, cutting the small pieces of fabric around it to make my work look nice. You, you see those scissors, they have the pointy uh, end that goes a little bit up. So um, it's comfortable for applique, it's not going to catch the fabric because it's not straight. It goes a little bit as curve that goes up those scissors and they are specially for appliques. 
Now I'm showing you here that I want you to see that your work when you're working, especially those beginners, see where's the green green, where's the pink pink. And I do like to add a little bit of my own on the um, applique that gives a little bit life to the faded fabric because when fabric faded away, you want to give it life. I am the greatest upcycler, so I like to save whatever I can. When you're younger, you are throwing stuff away, but I am not throwing it anymore. So I'm just showing you that if you want to keep a clean work, cut all those threads after you finish the work. I love uh, the colors and I love the sleeves and of course I would love to have this blouse and I going to show you the blouse that I work on it. As I mentioned before, that when I start working, I didn't think about the camera. The, all the process, the, all the designing skills and everything came to it. And I was in those passion moments. <clears throat> you can use those. You see different kind that doesn't have pointy ends to cut the remains of the fabric or hanging threads that your applique will be perfect. So I'm, as I'm continue, I'm going to show you very soon in a couple of minutes, you're going to see the um, blouse. Uh, if you see the opening in the middle of the sleeve that I open, I can make a different video to show you how I am doing that. They've been used in the middle of the sleeve or where is the cuffs are on the uh, blouses and uh, men's shirts, short. So here I am using iron. When you're doing applique, be iron friendly. It is important. I am not putting inside the infusion. There is no need to add more layers because this fabric is cotton style, so here you see me, as I told you in a minute, a minute that I did the blouse. Uh, what I like the, the, about this blouse that I can make rearrangements of the flowers, of the roses, the way that I want it. And uh, I did add in the middle of the blouse because didn't have enough fabric and couldn't make one piece. So I did add on my waistline. See how gorgeous the uh, buttons are. And uh, on the sleeves, I have smaller version of the button, a little bit smaller. In the front, I'm having buttons a little bit bigger. I was lucky to find those because you know some places you need smaller and similar you see I did the loop and I work very patiently on that and this is the results I love this blouse unbelievable gorgeous I did try it on sorry I'm not demonstrating you the blouse but I just want a little bit show off because it became the way that I imagine it is important don't forget to sign up don't forget to hit those notification buttons I need you people I need more viewers and I need you to support my channel well my designers. I hope you like this video. I hope you like the, the work that I did. And of course, I see you next time. So long.